This is Rap the News. There are 12 gates in heaven. Each of those gates have 12 angels. Each angel is guarding the gate. There are three angels to the west, three angels to the north, three angels to the south, and three angels in the east. God breathed the spirit of life into Adam and his seed was given the Torah, the spirit of life. We have the book of life, which I believe to be the Torah. Only the people whose names are written in the book of life gets into heaven. You got 12 tribes of Israel. 12,000 of each tribe will be sealed. You got 12 gates in heaven with only 12 tribes' names on them. 12,000 times 12 equals 144,000 saved. First, you have to know that you are only being saved from Gentiles and hell, and that's what's written in the scriptures. Acts 26, 17. But I shall save you from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. So you're, you are being saved every time from the Gentiles and from hell. God said in Joel 3, I will lift them out of the place where you have sold them and, land, and rain down brimstones upon your head. Something of that nature. Psalms 86, 13. For great is thy mercy towards me, and thou hast saved my soul from the lowest hell. So you're being saved, and, and I, as many more verses, but I'm only using these two. You're being saved from Gentiles and from hell. When God is delivering you, he is delivering you from Gentiles on this earth. When he's delivering you, he's delivering you out of the midst of Gentiles. He is telling you within the book to flee the midst of them, and them are Gentiles. Also, in the end, you are being delivered from the Gentiles and saved from hell get into it some more Isaiah 45 17 but Israel shall be saved in the Lord you can't be saved without the Lord you can't be saved with Jesus the nation's false idol God to worship anything besides God is called idolatry Christians and all these camps are into idolatry anybody saying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh and all of that is into idolatry speaking a false language the language that they speak if you would just look it up look up the Greek language turn the Greek language backwards and you got that false Hebrew Israelite language the camps is fake their religion is fake Christianity is fake we getting into the real right now Exodus 12 51 and it came to pass that same self day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of the Gentiles, Egypt. Right? So you were being saved from who? Gentiles. So the first time you got delivered, you got delivered from Gentiles. Daniel 12, 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, and I'm breathing out of my uh, mouth. I'm used to breathing out of my nose, so I'll be running out of breath, you know, doing this. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be written in the book, and that's the book of life, but the book is the Torah. Gentiles are not written in of in, I mean, they are written in the Torah, but the book was never given to Gentiles. But we're going to find out the truth of everything right now, to the best of our ability. Proverbs 11.21 The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Jeremiah 33, 16. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith 
she shall be called the Lord of our righteousness. All right. Let's get going. Deuteronomy 4.27 And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations and you shall be left few in number among the heathen aka Gentiles, Edom, Esau, right, Moab, all of them. Whether the Lord shall lead you who led us into captivity? Did the Gentiles really do? Or was that already written of God and given to Abraham before it even happened? Abraham already knew that God said you were going to the Gentiles and he said the Lord led you there, right? Because of your evil deeds in idol worship again and disobeying the Most High. Revelation 7, 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, not the Gentiles. And we're going to get an understanding of this. All it is is for an understanding. Of the tribes of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribes of Reuben, 12,000. The tribes of Gad, 12,000. Aser, 12,000. 12,000. And the tribes of Manasseh, 12,000. And Simon were sealed, 12,000. Levi, 12,000. Ishkar, 12,000. The tribe of Zebulon, 12,000. The tribe of Joseph, 12,000. And Benjamin, 12,000. I'm just going to go over it if I'm blundering. But we know it's 12,000 from every tribe. Tribe. Isaiah 10, 22. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet only a remnant of them shall return. A remnant. A handful. Right? Everybody brown ain't going. You know. Matthew 7, 13. Enter ye at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in there. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto the life, and few there be that find it. And the only people going to find that is the people who worship in God alone, and not adding anything to God whose name is great alone. Right? Revelations 21, 12. And had a wall great and high and 12, 12, 12 gates and at the 12 gates angels and the name written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So it's a great high wall. Nobody's scaling that to get in. And then there's gates and nobody's getting past those angels to get in. Isaiah 26, 2. Open ye the gates that that righteous nation, that the righteous nation, it, didn't, it don't got an S at the end of that. And I want y'all to understand today, all those stupid church people or stupid, you know, Gentiles, white, black, yellow, green, and brown, they not getting in. You know, what if some of them are righteous? Let's find out. That righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. The one that keep the truth, not believe the lie. You know, and that's Romans 125, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship the creature Christ more than the creator God, who is blessed forever. Amen. You believe it in a lie, you're going to the lake of fire. Romans eleven twenty six. And so all of Israel shall be saved as it is written. But it's only telling you all of Israel is only a handful of people. Even though the people are as the sand of the sea, it's a whole lot of brown people. Only a handful is going to make it. Only eight people at the time of Noah. Only three people at the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. Everybody else is deaded. So what about the Gentiles? Do Gentiles get into heaven? 100% I don't believe so. Only one Gentile was ever allowed into heaven if you could read the scriptures thoroughly. And who was that Gentile? That Gentile was Satan. He was the only one. The rest of the nations, if you read in Ezekiel, was not entering into the heavens. They was admiring him. His height was the heavens. 
The earth can be called a lower heaven, but it's still the earth. Genesis 27, 29. Let the people serve thee. And we're saying what's going to happen to the Gentiles. And the nations, and this is all of the nations, bow down to you. Are they bowing down to you? No, because they're not righteous. Only a few people is going to bow down to you. Those are the ones who want to be saved. Be Lord over thy brethren. It's talking about Esau. Esau is not thy actual blood brother. Esau was another nation in the womb of Rebekah, right? Read it carefully. You know, the reason why they calling them brethren, because they were in the same womb. They are both the children of Rebekah. Only one child belonged to who? Was that uh, Isaac? Yeah. And that was who? <laughs> the father of the children of Israel, right? And let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be every one that curses you. Black, white, yellow, green, and brown. Anybody who curses is cursed. Whether they believe they curse or not. Blessed be he that blesses thee. You ain't going to go to hell being blessed. White, black, yellow, green, and brown. You may not be allowed into heaven, but you ain't going to hell being blessed. Like, Raptor right News is only heaven and hell. Let's find out. Isaiah 65, 16. That he who blesses himself in the earth and how you bless yourself in the earth by blessing Israel shall bless himself in the God of truth did it say Israelites did it say sons of Adam did it say Hebrew anybody who blessed himself in both Genesis and Isaiah any nation that blessed Israel is blessed ain't no nation really blessing Israel they damn us right what did the um, American nation do they cursed the black man. How? By putting a rope on his neck and hanging him from a tree. Anybody who hangs from a tree is cursed. So those people who hung you are cursed. But he who blesses himself in the earth by blessing Israel shall, be, shall bless himself in the God of truth. Let's read on so we understand this some more. Zechariah 9.7 and I will take away his blood out of his mouth. So that I believe to be the nations. The, the remnant that's left. Because blood is in his mouth. Meaning what? He got dealt with. And his abominations from between his teeth. The lie out of his mouth. Right? But he that remaineth. Even he shall be for our God. He blessed himself. In the earth, so he shall be blessed in the in in, in in the God of truth. That will try to make me stutter. Shall be for our God, and he shall be as a governor in Judah, an Ekron and a Jezubite, a Jebusite. Look up Jebusite and see exactly what that is and who that's talking about. Canaanites, right? Numbers twenty four nineteen. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, the Jakes, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. But it's going to be somebody that ain't going to be destroyed, right? Of the Gentiles. I'm just showing you this. Amos nine eleven. In that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. If all the Edom is destroyed, then how are they possessing Edom? All the Edom ain't destroyed. And of all the heathen, all the heathen ain't destroyed, which are called by my name. These heathen is what? Called by my name. So we're going to go back up to it and look at it again. That he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, called by my name. 
He shall be for our God. Right? Says the Lord that doeth this. Behold the days come, says the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treasure of grace him that soweth the seed. And the mountains shall draw sweet with wine and the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and they shall build the waste cities. And I want you to understand what I'm reading here. And inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruits of them. And I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which I have given them says the Lord thy God. So you got these jakes that is going to still be on earth. They ain't in heaven. This is earth. Psalm 37, 29. The righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell there forever. They ain't a part of the 144, but they still of us. But they ain't up in heaven with us. You know why? Because the Jakes are brown Gentiles, Massa's children. They not of us. They of us, but they not of us. Right? And so that's how you're going to get in, Gentile. And I'm, I'm just being real. How else can I say this? You know, other than this, you show me the scriptures of where you're going to get in. Because God is not contradicting itself. If that New Testament don't match the Old Testament, you ain't getting in. So it ain't no contradiction there. It's only saying that basically few people are going to make it out of all of Israel. Even if it's the seeds of the it's so many people that it, they like the sand of the, the ocean. Only a handful is going to make it. Only eight people made it. Only three people made it. You got to understand, everybody ain't making it that are Israelites. If the righteous scarcely make it, then how much the wicked sinner? They ain't making it. Only those Gentiles and those Hebrews who completely stop sinning. If anybody have any questions on this and you confused, write it in the comments. This is Raptor News.